right then guys, hopefully the sound quality come out okay today because I have to got my Bluetooth, my wireless mic but I thought I'll give it a try so I don't have a little wander into town and let's have a check on the Blackpool Court to see if there any signs of them coming down and we'll also look at the DWP building so let's get straight on with the video Got the new tram station and the Holiday Inn. Also, look like we got a Greg's. Not look like that much happening down Tarbert Road today. Of course, we have got the New York Internet Style restaurant. And just behind me, it looks like the new bar type thing opening up. So I wonder when is this place going to be opening up? Just right next to St. Chris. So we don't have a tap room and like a coffee. Coffee type of place and lunches, small plates and full breakfasts are available. Coming in August. I think they must be running a bit behind. Look like Mr. Bastler got all the brand new windows in now. And just right across from there, look like they got the front entrance, maybe, all ready for the government site. It do look quite a nice building, to be fair. And this will be opening up next year, I believe so. The Blackpool lads have put a video on about this and a bit of more in-depth information about the parking so I'll look for that video and I'll put the link to that video just right underneath this one It looked like they got like a um, path going all the way around the back now you also got the wall and steps all being built so they ain't really taking the time on this one it don't look like well I just want to be making my way through town all the way up to the old police station and courts now see what happened in there but I did notice there were quite a couple of Blackpool Council people up to the new government building I don't mean one or two, there were quite a handful of them walking over that way. So we need to not to see if everything all running smoothly and all going to plan. So just having a little wonder to the gents what the St John's were now and see how busy is it up this way. We got the police circling Blackpool also. making my way to the central car park but as you can tell we got the new multi-story one here and oh the build up on that and the fireworks i seen people posting pictures up on facebook and stuff like that couldn't believe it but is that one of the main thing like on this walk i wanted to come and check is the Blackpool Court slash police station and it don't look like there any signs of it getting pulled down just as yet but I better not speak too soon I have got a couple of videos on my channel actually where I did a nice little walk around right on top of the courts bit before I got all like blocked off for the public bus and did have a, a, quite a couple of youths going in and out if I remember so and it is like, unsafe for people to enter there now and that way it all blocked and anytime soon pretty much it meant to be getting pulled down 
for the multi million pound type of contract or uplift the infection to the area but as you can see there is quite a couple of greedy and things about on the police station at the minute and it literally is all blocked off even where the stairs is so I don't have a walk around to the other side check it out and then I'll make my way to the prom and see what is happening on the prom Of course, I'm just literally beyond Happy Days Amusement. This is quite a popular amusement, it's definitely for the bingo to do, the prices Bodden got to offer. We've got some of the best prices in Blackpool. Yeah, so this is the fencing got we got all the way around. So I bet you the fence in the long cost them quite a bit of money to build up. So this is used to be the entrance where the police vehicles used to go to get down to the police station when the news to well like when you used to go into Cuss They look like the car park ain't in use at all now. As there won't be no other entry in. But yeah, they're meant to be asbestos and everything all in here. And I read up somewhere that the courts weren't built to be in use for as long as them were. But that meant to be going on to Demonster Road now. I am thinking of doing a video on that type of area. So I'll speak a bit more on the new location when I go and do that video. But yeah, them broken windows and everything around here now. So I bet you a lot of people will be glad to see it gone and the open space is being used for better use. Then it's just being left abandoned. Got a central pier with a big wheel, the iconic big wheel. Oh, you got a couple of rides going around. And of course, we got the always uh, Ossie, so I say Ossie type of lights here. These do look crazy when it at night, but you get smoke and everything all coming out. But yeah, don't really look much like anything happening on the promenade today. But when it, it's a bit in a bit now. But sometimes it's nice when it's quite quiet. But then you can just go for that nice walk. I do like walking down Blackpool Promenade. I suppose that one good thing about Blackpool is what you got on your doorstep. And something like before I started doing YouTube, I think um, I never really enjoyed a good walk. But was you like, oh, I do this on like a daily basis? But then when you start doing YouTube, picking a camera up, you start to enjoy your surroundings and you like take a lot more in. You look like this eagle taking a shower. Well, you got the shower on, you got a couple of seagulls stood right next to it. Just making my way to the comedy carpet, aka Tori's hotspot. And then got quite a couple of jokes on here. Of anyone actually walked around the comedy carpet looking at all the jokes. Yeah. 
this is like a basement for cocktails and vintage vibes. Would you go in here if you ever in Blackpool? Just right next door from Papa's Bits and Chips. So I'll ask them someone a bit more information on this because I don't really know anything from here but it's opening on the 24th of October. It's opening on the 24th of October. Hopefully. Is that one and this one? Well, yeah, I'll ask them a bit more information on that. And they're saying like people stand on the bar. Like it's something unique to Blackpool, I think. But yeah, it's something like people stand on the bar, start throwing beer all over them or something. I don't know, I suppose it whatever get you fancy, I suppose, ain't it? But yeah, like it's something a bit different coming to Blackpool. I don't know what happened to this weather, but here we go. What I like to call Dolly. So it's raining now, what a change the weather can make. I only popped into the shop and back out and now it's raining. Right then guys, I think I don't want to end the video here. But if you enjoyed this type of walk around then hit that subscribe button. My target is to reach close to 2k by the end of the year. We are 1,600 at the minute. I know it is quite a big goal to reach within a short period but that is my target so you did enjoy this video and you watched it all the way through and you ain't subscribed then please hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this type of content then please hit that like button so I know you enjoyed it and if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos then turn on that notification bell and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.